There are a number of features hidden within ancient Egypt, many areas across the plateau, that one is unlikely to be taught an accurate account of by any tour guide or academic alike. Not only do these features escape modern understanding, but as our argument strengthens in regards to our posit of their having been past yet once highly advanced and thus incredibly capable ancient civilizations having once flourished not only across ancient Egypt, but many other parts of the world as well, one cannot disagree. Ancient Egypt, with its enormous pyramids, and indeed their guardian the Sphinx, are clearly some of, if not the most impressive ancient ruins still in existence on our ancient planet. Yet our next feature of interest could, in all possibility, begin the rewriting of massive chapters of our already claimed as concluded historical human studies of antiquity. We have previously covered the intriguing ruin of yet another Sphinx found in Pakistan. However, would one be surprised to hear of a possible doppelganger? Another Sphinx? Once of the same scale as our long-claimed sole pyramidal guardian? A Sphinx that can actually be found upon the plateau itself? Yet due to the extraordinary age which the sculpture clearly is, along with the possibility that this second Sphinx had likely remained submerged within the sands of time throughout Giza's re-inhabitation, one which we claim is academically used to pin the creation of the plateau on a more recent permitted ancestor. According to a Dr. Rita Abdel Halim, who previously published an article titled A Second Sphinx at Giza Plateau, both sphinxes are located on the west bank. The first sphinx is considered as the guardian of the plateau. However, the second sphinx is located in the southern area of the causeway leading to the pyramid of King Khafra. On the north side of the second sphinx, one can see the tombs of King Khafra's children, and on the south, the tombs of Queen Kentkaus, wife of the King Khafra and mother of King Mykernos. Measurement of the second sphinx indicate it was once a near-carbon copy of our long-claimed soul guardian, long academically argued as the one and only great sphinx of Egypt. Both sphinxes have a length of about 73 meters, from front paws to tails. The length of the still surviving front legs of the second sphinx is 15 meters, and the width of the whole body is 19.3 meters when measured on the surface. However, after the hopeful cleaning and subsequent exposure of the area surrounding the second sphinx, the doctor believes that measurements might indeed change. How could we ever be expected to believe such limited views of Earth's history? Views such as that of the mainstream paradigm, which is consistently funded and constantly peddling deliberately ignorant, incredibly biased, conformist selective beliefs, now the cornerstones of many institutions. Our history is for all, and we all deserve the truth. It is a journey of discovery, which we find highly compelling.